Hello, library friends. It is almost spooky season, and we couldn't think of a better take and make than an upcycled book witch. Join us for this season's take and make during National Library Card Sign Up Month. Let's get started. All right, this kit includes instructions. You got a book, yarn, broom, a wooden ball, some felt, some twine, and a feather. The only thing not included in this is a hot glue gun, some hot glue, your paint, and a paintbrush. Uh, if you need any of those things, please come and see us at the Center Express Library and we can absolutely get you what you need. We are here for you. So first things first, you're gonna grab that old book and you're gonna remove the cover. Once you finally get that book cover off, you're going to find the middle of your book and you're going to choose a side and then you're going to fold every four pages together into that uh, boat triangle shape toward the book spine. And each and every time you fold the triangle shape, you're going to fold it into itself. Here, watch one more time how we do it. And voila, through the magic of editing, we have got the one side. And you're gonna do the exact same process again, folding about every four pages together into that boat triangle shape toward the other side of the spine. Isn't editing magical? And voila, after it is all said and done, you're gonna have something that's gonna resemble a tree and it should stand up by itself. Make sure you go through each page and kind of pull it apart so you don't have any mismatched clumpy areas. Now, if you've chosen to paint, this is your time to go ahead and grab whatever color you want and have at it. While the paint is drying, assemble the hat. Working horizontally, trace the bottom of a drinking glass, we're using a styrofoam cup here, onto the black felt and cut it out. And then after that, with the remaining black felt, you're gonna cut about a three inch rectangle off from the side. Okay, here's the fun part. So you're going to grab the ends of that rectangle and fold the two ends together to form a point. Then you're gonna hot glue the seams together. Grab that circle and we're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna cut one slit on one side and we're gonna turn it around, fold it in half and cut another slit on the other side to make it look like a plus sign. Then you're gonna take the triangle, pop it through and voila, you have a witch's hat. Do not cut off the ends there because look how nicely that ball fits. Let's do some hair. So fold the yarn into four equal parts. And once you have your desired length and your wish's hair can be however you want it, you're going to make sure it's all cut and it's placed equally onto the wooden ball here. All right, once we have our witch with a head of hair, let's attach that head to the very top of the book. Now I'm realizing that we're going in a totally different order than we did with the instructions, but that's okay, no big deal. 
Making the witch's cloak is super simple. You're just gonna horizontally fold one inch down from the top and you're gonna hot glue it right in the middle to secure. And once it's cooled, you're gonna wrap that cloak around the top of the dry book. Really make sure that it's dry. You're gonna get your paint all over the cloak if you're not careful and attach it with the hot glue. Once that's secure, grab that green twine or raffia and you're going to wrap that around the base of the wooden ball in the neck area and just tie it. Every witch needs a broom. So go ahead and grab that broom that we've provided for you and affix that with some hot glue anywhere that you'd like onto your book witch. And there you have it. Your book witch is going to create quite the stir. Everybody's gonna wanna know where you got it, how you made it, and you're gonna tell them that you got it from your library. Happy National Library Card Sign-Up Month.